Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories as well, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice, whenever I announce giveaways and there is always a secret password giveaway going on as my way of saying thank you for being a subscriber. You can find out more in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. And you will also, of course, find out whenever I go live. I should be resuming my live streams in September, if not sooner. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today, I've got one of my favorite desk accessory subscriptions, and that is Desk Stash. This has been sent to me for review. If you're not familiar, this is a quarterly subscription. It's just $45 plus shipping. I believe the shipping to me here in California is around 10, maybe $11. I do have an affiliate link and a discount code for you. It's just Noel15 and that will save you 15%. As always, I will put that code and that link in the description box below. And if I remember, I will also pin it as the first comment. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But since it has been probably a while since I read the description of this box, I wanted to go ahead and read it to you today. So it says, we search for only the most unique desk and office items for professionals and students students delivered quarterly to your home or office. Our goal is to inspire you to work more creatively, have fun while doing it, and make your colleagues admire your sense of workplace style, good taste, and whimsy. It's the whimsical element of this box that I do truly enjoy every season. Each desk dash box will include five to seven unique curated office and desk supplies, and they have an average retail value of $80. So sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, but let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we have got this time around. It is already getting to be that back to school time and of course I know a lot of you are still working from home or actually starting to go back into the office either way it is always really fun to sort of refresh your desk space your working area and also maybe have something fun to talk about right so inside, we just have our product card. It says this is the Let's Dance Edition. I just had that Bowie song run through my head, so I'm guessing that's the reference. So it looks like the total retail value on this one is $70. So I actually appreciate that if boxes don't do the individual retail values of each item, they just tell us the total box value. That also helps me feel like I'm getting a nice deal. So it looks like we have six different products for me to share with you, probably with some cheeky descriptions because they come from Dan, the owner, and then inside, let me give you a quick little sneak peek. There's obviously one item that is taking up most of the space in there. So let's go ahead and start with that. It is a camera pencil sharpener. Now I have to admit that I don't use pencils that much. I should because I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to writing things down, but I enjoy writing with pen. But it might be nice if I always had a nice sharp pencil. And we do get a lot of really fun pencils in different subscription boxes. Plus this is very cool because it's got that vintage camera look going on which of course is something to talk about to have at your desk space so let me find this it says what a nifty design please read the instructions before operating this airsats pico flex camera style pencil sharpener otherwise you're gonna have to ask joyce from billing for help and you do not want to owe her any favors see cheeky so this is what it looks like pretty darn cute you guys so i'm guessing that you actually put the pencil there in the top and then it's like the old school kind where you crank it do you remember in school where there would be one pencil sharpener like up at the teacher's desk and you have to go there and you would crank it and all the shavings would fall i'm wondering if it's like that it looks like it does have a place for it to catch the shavings inside which is just really cool i feel like this is just like a neat prop to have i would love to have a vintage camera collection but i feel like it's a lot harder to get those these days because it is such a popular thing to collect and I'm not a photographer even though I enjoy taking photographs it's usually more for myself or some fun project photography but yes I will have to read the instructions to figure out how to open this up I'm guessing this is like a lot see this is a little tray where the shavings are so pretty cool but I don't want to have to ask Joyce from billing for any help so um, pretty cool probably a pretty self-explanatory but it does have some uh, directions here in terms of letting you know there's uh, oh all kinds of things that are labeled in terms of where you put things okay so but it does look like it's a, the old school like crank kind where it's manual and you don't have like batteries or a plug-in which is kind of nice because you don't want to have any extra cords running around your desk because we all already have a ton of those 
So I am very curious about this. This also looks like a prop to me for like future uh, photographs that I'm gonna take, but it is pretty darn cute. It is like just a little shopping cart. I always like see errant shopping carts around my neighborhood. I always wonder how they escaped. And of course now they have those special locks on them so they can't leave the parking lot sometimes. It says this is a mini shopping cart desk caddy. So basically you can put whatever you want in there. It says this wee shopping cart can hold 20 pens or pencils. Next time Joyce from Billing whines about forgetting to bring a pen, roll this cart full of ball points over to her and say use one of mine but don't run off with it so i guess you can actually put your pens or your pencils right through those slots i was thinking oh those would fall down but maybe that's good because you can keep it kind of organized and have them all sticking up so it even has the like child little like bin where you would put your kid to sit or where you would put your other like you know your bags your shopping your reusable shopping bags but that is pretty darn cute and it actually looks like it has working wheels and casters so yeah this looks like a procrastination tool more than an organizational tool for me but it is pretty darn cute so all right so so far we have two things that look like something else versus what their actual function is so instead of just a boring little you know mug with a bro broken handle you can have a shopping cart caddy for your pens i like it all right this is a great product i've gotten this before um but you do have to replace it every once in a while it is cleaning putty i'm trying to see the brand on this it's from kikerland so it's multi-purpose it picks up dirt and dust from hard to reach places and it does it in this very fun amoeba like way it's got a very fun citrusy color to it so this is keyboard cleaning putty it says we are really on Joyce for this uh, season. It says, the next time Joyce from Billing borrows your computer and leaves a spray of Cheetos dust and cat hair in her wake, insist she tidy up your keyboard with this antibacterial detritus and chrome remover. It'll be as if she were never there. So it's kind of like the first time I used it on my keyboard, I was a little bit scared because it is honestly pretty darn goopy. Actually, it looks like we've got a little bit of leakage here. So it just looks like a gel. It looks like a self-care item, right, you guys? But it's actually very soft and it really like molds to the shape of your keys. And I was like, um, that's gonna go in my keyboard and never come out. But it does always come all the way out, gets all into those cracks and crevices, and it pulls so much dust. And I just have a really dusty office. And of course, I've got like hair all the time floating around my office as well. And I try to keep my fan on, the fan just blows the, the dust around even more so my keyboard needs a good dusting every day and i do use an air canister but of course sometimes that's just blowing the dust deeper into the keyboard so this actually works really well like i said it does after a while get a little bit dirty so i don't use like the whole jar of it i'll use like half of it and then once that blob is dirty i will toss that and then use the next one um sometimes it'll start to because it is antibacterial and it's like picking all that stuff up, sometimes it will eventually like start to smell a little funky. So that's usually when I know that it's time to replace it. But I will say that it does work. I was kind of freaked out about it, like I said, the first time that I used it, but it totally, totally works. You can use it in your car. That's a really good idea too, like on the radio. Um, it says, since in your our electronics products, such as keyboards, laptops, or even wiping dust from your succulents, you know those little like cracks and then all the dust in the, the, that is such a good idea. My succulents need a, a good cleaning so this seems like something seems like a fun project where they're they're it seems like a horror movie it's gonna be like the blob attacking my poor little succulents and then they'll be like oh I feel so much cleaner and brighter now um obviously this is a box where I get toys so <laughs> let's see what else we have got this is something in I don't know what this is it's from monograph it says stickers 20 sheets it's office essentials for everyday entrepreneurs and creative thinkers by house doctor huh so it looks like just little like sticker dispensers I'm gonna go ahead and have to open this up so it says finger and question mark page flags Half of the time, Joyce from Billing cannot figure out where to sign those invoices. She probably just wants attention. In future, just indicate every signature line with these reusable finger question mark page flags. You'll see a lot less of Joyce. I don't know why we don't like Joyce so much. Maybe we just need to be nicer to Joyce. What do you think, Dan? So here we go. So it's just some page flags. So it's a nice dispenser. You can see it's kind of that old timey finger that is pointing in one direction. And then it looks like we also have a question mark for, you know, if you're grading papers or you just have a question about a whole paragraph. So it does have a little question mark. So I like how simple they are. They're just in black and white. And it looks like I think there are 20 in 
each of these um, so they just have these little stands I'm not sure if you can probably refill them I would hope that you could refill them because they are cute little dispensers I will have to see but they are reusable usually I use um, little stickers like this in books if I want to mark a page and I reuse them like a million times or to label like boxes the contents because I keep everything all organized so this seems like a very useful thing and it's like one of those things that I wouldn't necessarily save that's one of my problems is sometimes I like to save beautiful stationery or page flags and I don't like to use it but this is something I'll actually use and be okay with it but it would be nice to be re to refill those all right what is this there's all these things where I'm like what is this so this is from hinge is an LED lighted folding magnifier with a quite like big handle I'm not sure so it says hinged lighted magnifier with its optical grade acrylic lens LED light magnification bubble and ergonomic folding handle Joyce from Billing will have no more excuses when it comes to reading your tiny handwriting on those terse write-ups she receives every week well I'm not doing any handwritten write-ups for anyone I'm no one's boss at the moment which is quite nice so we do have some um, instructions here which is probably what I should read um, but this is kind of interesting I do have teeny tiny handwriting so I feel like this is something that I should like give to my folks because when I do write them little letters or cards they can never read it so forgive the reflection here's our ergonomic handle it's like a you know like a old school single eye magnifying glass but you can see it's kind of like the here you go there I am you guys you can see it really does magnify and then I guess this is like I guess that's a smaller magnification so you can just see I guess the real size and then it does have this ergonomic handle how interesting so you could do either direction if you need to that's interesting I don't know so you could go this way if you wanted to how cool so I am getting to the age where sometimes it takes me a little while to kind of focus but I will have to read up a little bit more about how to use this and think of occasions when to use this I wonder if you could just kind of like clip it onto your phone for those of you who already have the font turned up as high as possible it does say that there's a battery so it must have a light right yes because it does have an LED light so that's kind of cool so I think the LED light is right here in this little hinge part so that you can see things in the evening as well which is helpful folding handle for storage and transport hmm that's pretty cool I'm maybe gonna pass this on to someone who might need to use it a little bit more again to read my small handwriting but it is a cool product oh and this is also cool it looks like they included the batteries for us or if, I'm not sure if this is for that product but it is two AAA batteries which I definitely appreciate that's always nice when boxes think about that so that it's very plug-and-play and we can go ahead and use it all right so it looks like we have got a pencil to go along with our sharpener and it's in a really cool box so you know it's like a fancy pencil so it says oxygen pencil it says this colorful French made crayon is a work of modern art that will fit nicely into your new camera pencil sharpener it kind of reminds me of the really cool tricolor pen that we got I think in last season it says you do not want Joyce from Billing to get a hold of this at least not until she gets over that nervous habit of pencil chewing Ugh, that always like grossed me out um, this is a pretty cool pencil it is already sharpened for us so speaking of plug and play it's got the old school eraser I usually like to put a different eraser on top because the only time I use pencils is because I want to be able to erase I am kind of a mechanical pencil fan I will admit that I could definitely use some of those in a future box Dan um, but this is really cool so it does say papier merveille um, and then it's got this really cool like modern design in tricolor same three colors as our pen so it would look very cute together if you have a little pen and pencil holder in your little day planner for example but yes I will use this pencil with my pencil sharpener and feel very chic and a little old school which is kind of appropriate of course for that pencil sharpener so let's just go over everything that we got we got this toy that I'm going to procrastinate with and put all kinds of different things in it would be really cute to put like little washi tapes and like things that you're using or maybe a lot of the stickers that I get where I don't know what to do with them we got this very cool uh, kind of old school pencil sharpener with the actual like crank gotta gotta work on that we got our but it does collect the uh, pencil shavings which is nice we got our cleaning putty this is honestly like the most functional and kind of my favorite thing because this is also really fun to play with as well and just see how it cleans everything up we got our hinged lighted magnifier this is kind of the most novel product like I have never seen one of these I have no idea how I'm gonna photograph this because it's gonna be very reflective but again 
there you go, go. You can see it does definitely it magnify things. We got our two sets of page markers, one with a pointing finger and one with a question mark. And finally, our very beautiful, very modern oxygen pencil. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you thought about this season's desk stash with the theme, let's dance and make fun of Joyce. <laughs> in billing, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure where the like let's dance part of it comes from, except for maybe the color or the movement that's involved in some of the items. I guess there is some movement in a lot of the items. So like if you could definitely do like a stop motion video, I will not be doing that, but you definitely could with a lot of the uh, items in here, but it was always fun and it was all, it is always delightful to open up this box because we get, again, fun things that you can definitely use in your everyday work or school life. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up if you still want to get in on this because, you know, you could definitely uh, keep a couple items for yourself or gift a couple of items or gift the whole box to someone else. You can still get in on this edition, so check it out because they do sell out sometimes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.